Hello, welcome back to Tombow Land. Today we're working on our booster motor. This is part three of our booster motor build. Today we're gonna to be installing our pistons, rings, and our block. So uh, get you some popcorn, sit back, and watch us do our thing. Okay, on this first part, we're gonna start installing our rings, okay? You gotta be careful when you're doing this right here. You gotta grab your piston, hold your piston like so, and you wanna make sure that you got, right now we're putting our, our, our second ring on, which is the scraper, scraper piston, the scraper ring, and it's got a little, little end, a little notch on the top of that ring. So we wanna put it on, like so, and be careful when you're putting these on, you, the thing that you don't wanna do, that I watch a lot of guys do when they do a piston or put rings on, they scratch up, scratch up the crap out of the, out of the piston, so then you gotta go back to the piston and try to clean it up with scotch bright and all that stuff. They're just a bunch of unnecessary work that you're doing. But if you take your time like this right here, just gently put it on and you heard it snap right there. Then before you can do anything else with it, the thing that you must do is align these rings right here on opposite side. So that way you can have a little blow by right here, a little blow by right there. If you put it like this, and like that, you put it, you just have them all just any kind of way, then whatever leakage that you get, it's gonna, it's not gonna have anywhere to go. So we wanna keep it, keep it right here on the wrist pin holes. This is something that uh, Byron Hines of Vance and Hines taught me when I was, I think I was uh, 17 years old. So that's what we wanna do. Right now, one of the things that we're doing right now is preparing and prep our gasket here. Spray them down with a contact cleaner, clean them real good. Then once I get it sprayed down and clean, then I come back with a little copper coat, spray over it, over this gasket right here. And I put, I usually put about, uh, about three coats on each side and then let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then it's ready to go, ready to install. Okay, now we're getting ready to install our piston our piston now onto the bottom end of our booster motor. On our OA booster motor right here, as you can notice, we tore the whole motor down, we took the oil pan off, and we cleaned and inspected everything. And I know some of you might ask, are we gonna change the rods or any of that stuff? Now for this particular motor build right here, we're not changing the rods, but in a more race application, we would put rods and undercut the transmission. But uh, for what we're trying to do here, uh, make a nice street and strip type motor, high horsepower motor right here. We're gonna leave it just like it is right here. We have inspected our rod bearings, our rod, our rod bushings to make sure that our bronze bushings in here was all clean and no scars or any of that stuff. But we're working with an 08 booster motor, so it, it was low mileage. So we're getting ready to install this piston. Up. One of the things that we do right here is before we install that piston, we take them put a little bit of a little bit of grease in our rod. Just a little, just a little tad bit of grease in each one of our rods. So it gives it a little lubrication while we're putting it on and start up lubrication. Then we come back and get our wrist pin, place in there like so, push it in. Then we take our heavy duty wrist pin clips and you gotta make sure that you get these in and hit, you hear the pop when you put them in. And you wanna take your time, push it in, push in, in, the, in, the, in the keeper groove and then you just roll it in there like so. If you can listen, you can hear it clip. Okay, now we're getting ready to install our cylinder. And one of the things that we're gonna start by doing, I got some bolts right here. These are old heavy duty studs for a GS1100. And I take these heavy duty, these old GS1100 studs and I put them in my block, just temporary, just so when I'm installing my block, they hold the block straight. Other than that, they're gonna be all over the place. So that's one of the things that we do 
here at Tombow Racing to get our pistons in to make sure that we got everything perfectly straight. And then the next thing we do, we have a little home, little homemade gadget right here that I've probably been had since I was since I was in my early 20s. And I set this right here on the on the uh, the motor block to hold my pistons straight while I'm installing everything. That's one of the, that's that's the second thing that we do. Then we come back over here to our freshly brand new block and we take in put a little assembly lube inside of each one of our cylinders just rub it in there with your finger and uh, what this does is a, it allows the rings to slide in there nice and easy without greasing and oiling all your piston and ring and making just such a mess so this is one of the things that we like to do here at Tombow Racing we try to play very careful uh, close attention to all our details and that's what uh, separates us from the rest. All right, here at Tombow Racing, one of the things that we play, pay close attention to is our detail. And right now we're putting our cylinder on, on, the, on the motor and we, we're trying to take our time and just push everything in, getting our rings in there, guiding it in, and just taking your time. That's the, that's the main thing. Got to take your time. Tap, tap, tap. Push, look. You got to be careful to rock your pistons back and forth to make sure that everything is going in straight. And then gently push, tap. Now what we're doing is we are pulling our guide, piston guide out of the way. Uh, so now we can push the block all the way down, kind of tap it a little bit here and there, and push it all the way down. Okay, we've just installed our, our booster block for our 1441 booster motor that we're building. We just got our pistons in here. And one of the things that you got to be careful that we're checking now is we're turning the motor over to make sure everything is smooth, to make sure none of our rings or pistons or anything is crooked or, or busted. Make sure it's got an even slide to it. And I like to keep a little bit of lube on, on the inside of my block. And the reason I do that is because I can check and see if it's any inconsistent with the, the way the lube is spreaded on the cylinder right there. Uh, once I do that, I take a little brake cleaner, a little brake cleaner, and I spray across the top to wipe off any of my excess grease. And so now it's basically installed, ready to go. So the next time that you see us, we'll be installing the cylinder head and degreeing the cams. Thanks for dropping in to Tombow Land.